New developments in campaign 2010. The pool of candidates for the first district seat is becoming more crowded by the minute. Today, Providence Mayor David Cicilline announced he is running for the seat, which will be vacated at the end of Patrick Kennedy's term. And Democratic Party Chair Bill Lynch also threw his hat into the ring. Our campaign 2010 coverage begins tonight with eyewitness news reporter Danielle North and the Providence Mobile Newsroom. After rumors were swirling through City Hall and beyond, Providence Mayor David Cicilline makes it clear he's out for mayoral re-election and in for Congress. I am running for Congress in the 1st Congressional District. As mayor, I've been had the opportunity over the last eight years uh, to see very directly uh, what this economic downturn has caused families. Cicilline is now one of several declared candidates in a pool of almost 10 possible contenders for the seat after Patrick Kennedy announced earlier this week that he would not seek re-election. Cicilline's announcement now means the capital city will be looking for a new leader as well in the coming months. I will remain mayor of the city until the end of my term and continue to stay very focused on my responsibilities. I'll at the same time be campaigning, um, but uh, I'll continue to do the work that I've done for the last seven and a half years. I'm announcing my candidacy today. State Democratic Party Chairman Bill Lynch also coming forward with an announcement of his own today, saying he's running for the first district seat because he feels the partisan politics of Washington are not providing real results for the taxpayers of Rhode Island. And he says he'll make that message central to his his campaign. Until we fix the economy and get working people in Rhode Island comfortable that they're going to get a paycheck and not a pink slip every other week, we've got problems and, and Washington just hasn't uh, addressed them. And because Lynch is stepping down effective immediately, we've learned that state party leaders as well as the House Speaker are going to have to regroup and then decide who to elect as their new Democratic Party chair. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.